Hello and welcome back with me, Admiral. Joining me back on Star Trek Fleet Command, as always. We are going to be naming the new ship this week, so get your votes in in the description down below of what the ships are. I'm going to be collating them over the last couple of videos and, uh, well, the last week, couple of weeks of videos, and we will be doing the vote in the next two days. Uh, so yeah, I will put that out on obviously the channel under the community tab. So if you want to vote, uh, have a look out for the community tab over the next two days and we can hopefully rename the ship for the next month. Um, today's video is going to be predominantly about exocomps and the need for you to start basically caring about them a little bit more. Uh, start using them a little bit more and um, how to uh, obtain them, what to do to obtain them, and what you need to do with regards to your buildings as well. So the reason you need to start using them more is because of the events that keep cropping up over the last couple of days. This is obviously a scopely way of trying to get you to use them, as I imagine their data shows that not a lot of people probably, well, I don't know. A lot of people say they use them, a lot of people say they don't. I think the problem, the biggest problem I have personally with them is I always forget to activate it prior to sending a ship out, which is, I think, their biggest downfall. If they, if you could activate it whilst you were already out and anywhere in the galaxy, that would be, to be honest, the best way that they could utilize it. And I personally think that they should change the way that they can be used um, so that you can use them if there's already a ship, say, out. Um, but yeah, to use them, you have to use them for the, the today's swarm event, but we had to use them yesterday and no doubt I believe we'll be using them again in the future. And in today's, you can, so normally you would hit, say, level 39, which is what I hit. You get 144 points per swarm, but you can boost that. So you can boost that with a level 2, 3, 4, or 5 combat uh, consumable, um, which gives you, obviously, a different amount of points. So 2 star, 2 points, 3 star which is what I personally used, you get 20 points extra, 4 star, 300, and 5 star, 8,000 points, which is obviously, I've not actually seen any 4 or 5 stars, but I think that's due to my building not being potentially strong enough uh, or high enough level. I'm not entirely sure, but I'm pretty sure it's something on the lines of that. So I can get 3 star. So I used that, so I got an extra 20 points in that, making my life a little bit easier. So I got 164 points instead of getting 144. It only took me about 10 minutes to do this event as well, which is really good. Scopely, keep it up. Um, I will give you, obviously, a thumbs up for this event. Very easy to do. Didn't take a stupid amount of time. And the rewards are pretty standard uh, because they go towards, obviously, your, you getting 3D chess pieces, which is obviously trying to push the event store, which, as we know, the event store at the moment is absolutely humongous. So, yeah, there is that. But, yeah. The way you activate exocomps, if you aren't already aware, there's a little tab down in the right-hand corner, right down that side where my uh, where my uh, face is. So let's move me across, and I can show you where. Yeah, make me a little bit bigger. Yeah, let's get let's get right in the corner there. Boom. Let's go dead big. Okay. So over that that way, over that way, that way. There we go. Oh, right over there. Right over there. You can see that we have the exocomp, which is next to where you have your shields. So if you click that little tiny icon, this will come up. The exocomp's field will come up. You get three different types. You've got your galaxy station and combat. Obviously, each one will show their specific ones that you can activate in each of the different areas. So you can obviously do that. I personally activated this one today. So the one hour plus 30% damage. Uh, that was to obviously go against the swarms. Uh, did it make much of a difference? Eh, a little bit. It was not too bad. Um, I could hit maybe a few more. I still had to do two runs, but then I always have to do two runs anyway due to my dailies. Um, so it wasn't actually putting me out. And the great thing about today's event, which is I wish they'd do more of, um, is make sure it ties into something to do with your dailies as then it can complete your dailies at the same time, which is absolutely amazing. Uh, instead of just a standalone event. So yeah, that's how you do it. All you need to do is just go boom, activate it, and activate for the, however long the duration is for that certain thing. Some of the good ones to look out for is obviously the higher level research speed or building speed. Uh, mine are all pretty rubbish, so 
or the repair speed for the ships that's a really decent one to go for if obviously you are planning on attacking a lot of things at once or within that sort of time frame and then you've got the galaxy which some of the some of the decent ones again if you're trying to grind xp for ships 100 extra can't go wrong there the warp speed's always a good one if you're doing missions i used that yesterday for example to do complete the one to five missions um which is always a good one to get uh, the warp speed the mining for obvious reasons because you can send a miner out and be out for hours so you got that type of one or you got the i do i have another one protected cargo there so you got the protected cargo one which again is also another bonus one that you could go for uh pretty decent and then you got the free reputation stuff at the top so it depends on where you are with your faction locks uh, if you're not at your faction locks which is 10 million per faction these are a great way to get that faction lock done even faster. So start activating these before you send your ship out and then send your ship out and it should get you up there. And then you got you can activate one of these for armadas or damage as well, which is all really good stuff. So that's how you activate them. The way to find them and the way to get them within the game itself is to go to your store and then down the bottom, as you can see, we've got an absolute plethora. Blech, 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 blech of things on down the bottom and you need to go to consumables so when you go to consumables you'll get this thing and you'll get these chips so you need to claim them i need to claim mine for today and then you get the opportunity to get two star exocomp consumables which cost some they're quite cheap like a hundred and something uh, to get obviously two star or alternatively you can gain this one which is a bonus one it's quite expensive but you do get the chance for one grade higher than what you are so mine's a two star at the moment so i can get a chance to get a free star of one of these essentially which is not too bad but like i say you get free chests for 1250 so it is quite expensive and it does take a while to build up in some cases but you can get some decent things like 70 percent research speed which is really good if i'm honest it activates for two hours that's pretty decent again 100 percent cargo as i've already spoke about the plus 70 building speed pretty much all of them blue ones are all pretty damn good to get um overall or you can get the added mine in the warp speed like i've already spoke about and then in the normal one i'd love to show you but, but unfortunately i cannot which is a bit of a shame but yeah that's how you get them make sure you're claiming your chips every day as well to obviously build up your stores in terms of in the base itself the building that you are looking at is this one right splat bang in the middle so the way to get to the exocomp thing again you can click that button if you want to makes life a little bit easier instead of navigating the stores or alternatively you can go into the actual building itself nothing you can do in here other than the fact that you can look at what your daily sort of bonuses are your consumable um so xcom consumable so two to three for example and then xcom unlocks three to three so when i get to level 25 which i don't imagine it take me very long to get there i take it that consumable grade takes me from grade two to three which is three star basically so from two star to three star at level 25 so i'll be trying to get that up over the next coming days once i've built up enough stores and then from there you can then obviously go to level three to four which is a little bit further down so actually comp unlocks again four starter level 35 there and then the actual grade itself changes at level 40 so I will be, if once I get it to level 39, which is my obviously ops level, I will be sat around here. So you'll be getting 82 daily plus your consumable grade of three and then your exocomp unlocked four. So yeah, it'd be pretty decent. But at the moment, I'm only down here, which is kind of a negative. But once I get to, ideally, you want to get to obviously 26 as that gives you more of the uh, amount bundles. And then you try and get to 30 and that is the next threshold or big jump threshold anyway uh, and yeah so try and get to at least level 30 i would say if possible if not try and get to 25 try and go up in five five increments if possible so hopefully this video has been useful and helpful to some people uh if it hasn't 
and uh, try and help all the others out by leaving comments of what you do with your extra comps and some extra comps to look out for to make sure that people are finding and grinding the right things to look for. Other than that, don't forget, we always play the game of where is Winston in the thumbnail. If you want to play, please leave the comments down below of where Winston. Check out the last three videos, I believe it is, or two videos, and you can play the game on them ones as well. Leave your comments down below. Where is Winston? And I will see you next time. Bye-bye for now. Fly safe, and I'll see you then.